Nurses is taped in front of a studio audience. New memo from Casey, everyone. Oh, it says, in the interest of comprehensive care, all nurses will now be required to smile constantly in the presence of the patients. <laughs> Constantly, that's ludicrous. Yeah, I mean, ask someone for a stool sample too cheerfully and people start to wonder. <laughs> Annie, here's another memo I want you to distribute. Casey, we can't keep up with all these memos. It's ridiculous. Well, you'll be happy to know that after tomorrow, the memos will stop. You taking a day off? <laughs> no, I'm leaving for good. I'm starting a new job in Jacksonville. I've quit. It's the job of a lifetime, okay? I'm the new vice president of marketing for LSI. And what is LSI? Little Steffi International. They started out making dessert cakes, and now they make tracking systems for nuclear weapons, and they also own a chain of roller rinks. I took the job two weeks ago. I can't believe you're leaving tomorrow. Who's leaving? I am, Paco. I've taken a new job. And today's your last day? Well, I didn't want to be a lame duck administrator, and nobody would give me a party anyway. So. Oh, that's not true. Remember that oral surgeon, Mike? Nobody could stand him. We gave him a great party. <laughs> Casey, Casey, you can't leave me. Trying to get you to notice me is the only thing that gets me through the day around here. But Jack, this is such a good job, and if you really are my only friend here, you'll be happy for me. What am I going to do? She rejected me at every turn. Made me do disgusting jobs, even humiliated me on occasion. And God help me, I don't think I can live without it. <laughs> <laughs> But don't have any if you're nursing the little one. Just one trace of this stuff, and she will strip down naked and dance the hula in a hotel lobby. <laughs> or maybe that's just my particular body chemistry. I don't know. Wow, a baseball cake. Yeah, it's all the bakery had on such short notice. Ah. Hey, Paco, I just stole second base. <laughs> it's kind of sad when you think about it. What? Well, look at it. Isn't it obvious? Bobby didn't make the Little League team after all. No, I'm sure he'll get over it. I'm not. Maybe Bobby has a father that won't pitch to him and a mother says he's too small to play. Maybe his brother's messed with his mitt the night before Trya. <laughs> Somebody give me a drink. Here she comes. Yeah, well, your leaving doesn't happen every day. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I'm touched, really touched. Well, now, before you go, I have a list of reasons why you should stay. Reason one, you are the wind beneath my wings. <laughs> Reason two, you light up my life. <laughs> Reason three, Please come to Boston in the springtime. Reason four. That's enough, Jack. We all wish you luck. Well, I'd just like to say that just because I'm moving on to a fabulous job and new life while you remain here stagnant and unchallenged doesn't mean we still shouldn't try and stay in touch. But it could mean that, couldn't it? Maybe we should eat, everyone. Help yourself. What's wrong, Paco? Nothing. That's no big deal. I'm just thinking about how my life's gone to hell since I didn't make Little League. Paco, I think you've got to get over this. You're right. Oh, who am I kidding? I had speed, but I was afraid of the ball, and I had no arm. Um, messing with my mitt was the best thing my brothers ever did for me. 
You know, I only had a chance to give you three of the reasons you should stay. Well, I thought you were kidding about a list. <laughs> Please, indulge me. Well, maybe one or two more. Number 21. <laughs> if Casey leaves, this will be the day that I die. <laughs> come on, let's what? not go overboard. No, I'm not. No, I would kill myself. Oh, Jack, come on. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, if not kill myself, at least start eating high-fat food. Oh, yeah. And changing lanes without signaling. I do that. Oh, you know, Jack. What? Nothing. No, what, 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 what? You were going to say something. Say it. Well, there are times you can actually be... Wait, wait, wait. Before you go on, how much punch have you had? None. Okay. What I say now, I say completely sober. All right. All right. Sometimes you can actually be charming and I could be attracted to you. There, I said it. Uh, somebody give me a drink. I knew it. I knew there was something. But we work together. Yeah, well, but as of tomorrow, we're not working together anymore. Jack, I wouldn't have said anything if I were staying. Now, let's just part sorry for what might have been and disgusted for what was. <laughs> Then you, you hit 556 the next year? Mm. I no longer have the pressure of pitching, playing shortstop. I hit eight homers that year. Six out of the park and two inside the fence. I've never hit a home run in my whole life. Uh, I'm just feeling sorry for myself because I've had a few. Oh, that's okay, Paco. I've had a few, too. <laughs> Casey, we have to get going. Oh. I never thought I'd say it, but I'm sorry to see you go. Uh, good luck, Casey. <laughs> you know, oh, hey. you know, we really should have had lunch or something because I'm gonna miss you. <laughs> You're the greatest. <laughs> She is taking a cab, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, I guess this is it. It is if you want to ignore my list of reasons. Good luck with your uh, sentence and everything. We had some good times, though, huh? Don't you want to kiss me goodbye? Kiss you? Of course I do with every fiber of my being. But I'm not going to kiss you goodbye. If I kiss you, it's going to be the beginning of something, not the end. Because you and I both know how you truly feel. They always come back. I really admire a girl that can throw like a guy. I mean, you know, not so much like a girl. I can really throw, Paco. I'll bet you can. Paco. Hey, Julie. Uh, 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 that was some party last night, oh, huh? That was some party, yeah. We kissed, remember? Hey. Don't tell me we kissed. I know when I've kissed somebody and been kissed. <laughs> uh, well, I yeah, gotta get back to my yeah, yeah, patient. Get my floor is so... <laughs> I see it. Yeah, right. Did you see that? What? Something is going on between those two. Who? Don't lay down. <laughs> Paco and Julie, some sort of physical tension. You're crazy. Oh, God, you're always so blind about these things. Hey, I'm not blind. For example, I know Mr. Jackson in 312 has got something going with the lady who visits him every afternoon. That's his sister, huh? Oh. I'm 
I'm Casey McAfee for Mr. Greer. Oh, yes. <laughs> he is expecting you. Have a seat. <laughs> So great to meet you. I can tell you're gonna fit right in here. Thank you. That's exactly what Mr. Greer said. <laughs> Thanks, Mary. <laughs> Mr. Greer will be with you in just a few minutes. Thank you. You know, I'm new in town, and I was just wondering, where do you get your hair done? <laughs> it really looks great. You like it? Uh -huh. It's not far from here. I think I have a card here somewhere. Oh, Phyllis, what's the phone number of that place we get our hair done? Oh, um, I don't have it. Wendy would know. <laughs> This is Casey McAfee, the new marketing VP. Oh, Phyllis Cage, research VP. <laughs> My gosh, when I first walked in here, I thought you were a woman who works here named Grace. <laughs> Doesn't she look like Grace? I think she looks more like Alice. <laughs> With a little Anne thrown in. <laughs> oh, well, nice meeting you. Oh, that's a cute bracelet. I have one just like it. Oh, my gosh, I'm wearing it! <laughs> Hi, Debbie. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Greer is finished with his meeting. You can go in now. are dating now, huh? I guess so. You don't seem very enthusiastic. I, I don't know how I feel. Although I did offer to drive. <laughs> Julie, do you like Paco in a dating sort of way? I don't think so. Well, then you have to tell him that. Well, I don't want to hurt his feelings. Well, how do you know he doesn't have the same reservations as you? Gina, come on. Me and Paco, he's got to be on cloud nine. <laughs> My, Mr. Greer, that's quite a yearly bonus. Yes, it is. You combine that with the salary, the travel in Europe, the car. <laughs> well, it's all very generous. You think I don't know that? <laughs> I just meant that... Look, McAfee, I treat people right because it pays to. But I expect the best from my staff. I'm nobody's mama. <laughs> and business is no place for mewling, whining, breastfed babies. Over 61 million in net sales last year. Says one thing for little stuffy international. Our people are winners. Absolutely. Excuse me, sir. I need you to sign an initial this government did before I can fax it to the Pentagon. Yeah, fine. Tell them we won't budge on the solar panel. Figures. Oh, and Jean, I noticed uh, Michelle's roots are growing in dark again. I'll prepare a memo, sir. <laughs> Still upset about Ms. McAfee? It's a pattern, Paco. Women always like me best when they're leaving. Or disoriented. You know a lot about relationships, don't you? I guess. But more than me, right? <laughs> I kissed Julie at Casey's party. Oh, had a few belts at Jack's high-octane punch, and old Julie Millberry started looking pretty good, huh? <laughs> Yeah, something like that. Yeah, well, she must have been tossing it back, too, huh? See, I'm not really attracted to her this morning, but it seems like we're dating now anyway. Well, get out now before you end up doing the bunny hop with Grandma Milbury at the wedding reception. <laughs> now, 
I'm just afraid she might be really upset. Oh, you think she's drunk with your kiss, huh? She can't see straight now that Casanova Ortiz has planted one on her. Hmm? Well, I do have a pretty soft mouth. You know, I could have lived my whole life without knowing that part. That's about it. Your office is down the hall, corner view. I think you'll like it. Thank you. Uh, McAfee, what's on your mind? I like things in the open. Spit it out. I did have one nagging little question. Were any men interviewed for my job, or maybe women with brown hair who were plump? What do you mean? Nothing. I just wondered. McAfee, I have more women VPs than any other snack cake missile roller skating company in the country. But we all look alike. I mean, everyone here is a blonde, shapely, and dare I say, attractive woman. Yes. Isn't there something weird about that? You know, Miss McAfee, as an attractive blonde woman, and I'm speaking for you now. <laughs> I'd be pleased. I don't want to be hired for my looks. I'm good at what I do. I know that. That's why I hired you. I didn't get where I am by being some kind of low-grade moron. Oh, no, I, I would never imply that, sir. I just... You know, McAfee, I think it's about time you had a little lesson in business. Mr. Greer, I have been in business. Excuse me. You've been in business? You call running some hotels and a hospital business? This is business. And men run business. Men with two things on their mind. And money is a distant second, Ms. McAfee. <laughs> So who do you think can sell our cupcakes and missile systems better to men? A curvy blonde who's got the goods? Or a fat, balding guy named Bob? <laughs> I thought so. Glad to have you on board. No, sir. I'm not aboard. I don't need a job where looks are a bigger requirement than talent. I don't need a job with a big yearly bonus, European travel, or a fully equipped Mercedes. <laughs> no, sir. I quit. I think. Yes. I quit. I quit. I found the number for my hair salon. <laughs> You give it to Michelle. She's the one with the roots. <laughs> Julie, look who's here. It's Paco. Didn't you say you had something to say to him? Go ahead, Julie. Paco, I've been thinking about our situation. Me too. I think maybe it never really was a situation. Oh, I agree. That's why I think that we should quit acting like something's going on between us. Let's just cool it. So you're dumping me? I don't know that I call it dumping. Oh, no? Well, let me tell you something. As soon as I was done here, I was going to find you and tell you I want out. Hey, you were never in, pal. <laughs> Just remember, I called it quits first. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. Listen to yourself. Two good friends arguing over an innocent little kiss. These things happen between people who work together. Like you and Hank. <laughs> yes. And even though our situation was much more serious. I'll say. You got pregnant out of wedlock. <laughs> even in the face of that, I behaved in a much more mature manner than either one of you. You would even say you're pregnant. You told everyone you had a thyroid condition. <laughs> Be what it is. <laughs> I told people that in a very mature fashion. Oh, Paco, think about it. You and I could have ended up like Hank and Gina. Yeah. <laughs> Can you imagine how gross it would be? <laughs> We're not talking about me right now. <laughs> Bickering all day long about money and stuff? This isn't about me. Forced to get married.
married and live in a cramped little apartment with a baby like they do? No, I liked it better when you two were fighting. <laughs> I want you to distribute. <laughs> Annie, could you get me yesterday's timesheet? Tell me it's not her. <laughs> Tell me it's some kind of horrible flashback. It's no flashback. It's her. I've decided not to take the job. I thought about it and I realized my work here among the sick and needy is just too important. Oh, Lord. Much more important than money or making snack cakes and weapons of mass destruction. That's very noble, Casey, and whenever you're ready to tell us the truth, we'd love to hear that. Too. I'm sure you would. Well, anyway, welcome home. If this were a flashback, it would be over by now, right? Annie, I know we got off on the wrong foot when I started here, so let's try again. At the party you mentioned lunch, House Tuesday? I'm real busy Tuesdays. Me too. Well, we try. I heard you were back. Oh, hi. I knew you'd be back. Now, let's see, where were we? Oh, yes, about to kiss. <laughs> Sorry, Jack. Like I said, we work together. Just can't happen. Yeah, okay, you can run if you want to, but I still hear the words charming and attractive to you ringing in my ears. Heat of the moment. Yeah, well, reason number 25 for Casey to say... We've only just begun. You know, Jack, I've started my own list. Huh. Number one, can't touch this. <laughs> Something's going on between those two. Oh. Jack and Casey. <laughs> You're crazy. Hey, but I will give you credit for Paco and Julia. Pass them in the hallway. You can almost feel the passion between them. <laughs> They broke up. No. Thank you for your application for employment at LSI. Although I was impressed with your credentials and resume, you do not fit the necessary requirements. I wish you the best in all your future endeavors. Sincerely. Hey, wait a minute. You're not a born woman at all. You're a guy named Bob. 